What's up everyone? PK here. So in this video I'm just gonna show you how I clean and fillet my surf perch and then we are going to be smoking this guy right here. Now you notice I cleaned out the belly cavity. It's just gonna make the filleting a lot easier. Now there's no right or wrong way to fillet these guys. We all have our own method and this is just how I do it. I just cut straight behind the gill plate and then just run my knife down the uh, backbone. Don't cut off the fillet yet. I just turn it over so it has support for the other side. It just makes it easier to fillet. Same thing with the other side. Just cut a straight line behind the gill plate and just um, put your hand on the meat and just run your knife down straight to the back. The key to making this fillet easier is just to have a super sharp knife. Now to remove the rib cage, it's pretty easy. Just put your knife under it and go all the way back and just cut it out. Pretty simple. Now you want to remove the pin bones which run to where the belly cavity ends. So pretty much about halfway. You make sure you want to remove that because they're pretty sharp. Same thing with the other fillet, just remove the rib cage by putting your knife under it and cut it off. And again, remove that pin bone. Now you can also remove the pin bone after you cook it, so that's fine too, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here are my dry rubs. Now, you don't have to use any of the spices I have here. I have chili powder, black pepper, brown sugar, oregano, and salt. You can use sea salt or kosher salt, up to you. You want to combine all your spices in a bowl, rub them together, and then just rub them into the meat however you like it. You can cook the fish right away or you can leave it overnight to let it marinate for about 24 hours. When I took out the fish the next day, this is what I found lurking in the juice of the meat. Now this is a live worm and these worms, they live in the, in the meat itself, inside the perch. And you're probably wondering, is the meat still safe to eat? That worm looks really gross. Should I throw the meat away now? The answer is yes, it's still safe. It's pretty normal to find these worms in the meat. Don't worry about it, just cook it really well and you'll be fine. So this is my little portable smoker. You've probably seen it before. I've used it to do many catch and cook videos. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. As you can see, it's all black and well used. It's just a nice little portable smoker you can take along with you. It's very compact, very small, very light, easy to pack. And if you enjoy cooking in the outdoor, it's definitely a good smoker to have. For wood chips, I use apple wood, which gives it a nice sweet flavor. Two small pieces of wood is all you need, really. It doesn't really take much in that small smoker. One good thing about the portable smoker is you can use it over different types of heat source such as gas, charcoal, or electric. And then you just put the cover on and put it on the flame. Make sure you don't close the lid all the way and leave like a little bit opening so the smoke can escape. Now after about 8 minutes, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Nice golden brown. 
Now the level of doneness varies from people to people. Some people like it well cooked, some others don't. How long you cook it for also depends on how high the heat is and how thick the fillet is and so on. Now if you really want to get technical, just get a thermometer and make sure the internal temperature is about 165 and it should be good. Okay, so here's a close-up of the finished product. Now, if it seems a little dry to you, you can keep a spray bottle close with um, like apple juice and just spray it every minute or so just to keep it moist. Surf perch isn't as oily as other fish, so when you smoke it, it tends to be a little bit dry. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. I will see you next time, and have fun fishing. Tight lines.